There's something under here. Let's find out what. Let's go. Derek Wells Media. It's Julian's company. So the night that someone put a bomb in Julian's car, one of Julian's vans happened to be across the street? You're blackmailing me? Mm, let's call it tough love. So if I don't do what you want, you'll go to the ethics committee and tell them that I ran you over with my car. Which you did when you were drunk and about to get on a public road where you could have jeopardized many lives. Your concern for the greater good is truly one of your finest qualities. Well, I think so. But I also think it's a fair trade-off, um, you know, considering the fact that uh, the ethics committee is really the least of your concerns. I mean, the commissioner has been coming by here asking all kinds of questions. She is dying to find out how I ended up in this bed. Don't you just love irony? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, of all people, wanting to involve the police. Mom. So this van right here belonged to Julian's company, which could mean a few different things. Uh, well, maybe whoever planted the bomb wanted to cover their tracks, so using one of Julian's vans makes it harder to trace back to the source. Or it could simply be just a disgruntled employee trying to prove a point, maybe got laid off or something, and uh, kept the keys to the company's trucks. I guess we're going to have to have a little chat with the driver. Great, but how are we gonna get him down here? Good call the garage attendant. Tell him something's wrong with the van. He calls the driver. But we're gonna have to sell it. Right, right, right. Like we can say something like the van got hit and we wanted to be responsible citizens, so we want to pay for the damage. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a plan to me. Yes, sir. So now where are you going? Oh, I told you. Uh, we have to sell it. GYN appointment, but you, what are you doing here with, with him? Mom, you have a very justifiable restraining order against him. I don't really think he's in a position to harm me. You don't? So what, did you think this was a good time to play catch up? Um, well, actually, I'm the one who told your mother to come by here. Oh, you did? Why would you do that? To play on her sympathy? To, to manipulate her a little bit more? Honestly, Mom, what possible reason could you have to spend time with the man who tried to kill you? I was told that Julian was seriously injured, and mm. I thought this might be my last chance to tell him to go to hell. As you can see, no such luck. Well, thank you, Alexis. That was truly heartwarming. Okay, well, she did take your call. That is way more kindness than you deserve. Now that you know he's gonna live, can we go? Is there something else you need to discuss with this man? Nope. We're done here. Wait, 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 Mom. Mom. Mom, are you all right? I'm fine. Mom, it's me. Even with Julian sitting there in the hospital bed, I know that couldn't be easy for you. You're right. With me, fine is relative. Okay. It's somewhere between a yay, uh, he's out of my life forever, and at least he didn't hold a knife to my throat. Okay, well, at least you can joke about it. Is that what I'm doing? I don't know. I don't know why you're here. How about morbid, really morbid curiosity? Right. All right. What aren't you telling me this time? I don't know, Mom. I just, I get the feeling that there's something else. Sam, I have been through so many ups and downs in the last few months. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. But I do know that I'm done with Julian. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And I'm really glad that you hit him so hard in the courtroom. Are you kidding me? I will go back in there right now and do it again. No, just it, tell me. It's OK. It just warms my heart to hear you offer. I love you. I love you more. Baby loves you. We'll see you soon. Okay?